Hi, my name is Anthony Negron, and I'm an educator here at the New York Hall of Science. I'm here to tell you about a great new educational resource. In partnership with Target, we have developed a field trip aid called My Science Journal. It is part of the reading, writing, and inquiry program that provides free field trips to Title I New York City public schools. If you're planning a trip to the New York Hall of Science, download a copy of the My Science Journal to familiarize yourself with the activities your class will be doing. We also offer educator exhibit guides that provide information about other exhibits. The link to the teacher guide is located on the visiting section on our website. The Science Journal focuses on two exhibitions. One of them is our Search for Life Beyond Earth exhibition. In this exhibition, Students will sketch two different objects from the What is Alive exhibit, one living object and one non-living object. They will also describe why they think the object is alive or not alive. Next, students explore the importance of water to sustain life as we know it in the exhibit How Much of You is Water. Students will work in groups of two or more to weigh themselves one at a time, learn how many gallons of water it takes to match their weight, and determine the percentage of water based on these observations. Students then compare these statistics to their partners as well as the specimens on display in the exhibit. Next, students will explore how microbes are responsible for many familiar odors in the exhibit Microbes Live in Boiling Mud. Moving from left to right, students will squeeze plastic bottles containing various odors. For each bottle, students will describe what it smells like they will make a prediction about what they think the smell is, then they will lift the rubber flap near the bottle to reveal what it actually is, and finally, they will describe the environment in which the microbe they just learned about thrives. The second exhibition that the journal focuses on is called Seeing the Light. This exhibition explores how humans see and perceive color and light. The first stop is the Light Island exhibit. Students will make a prediction about what will happen when they use various color filters to block white light, then colored lights. Then they will document what actually happens. The next stop is the duck into kaleidoscope exhibit. Students observe what it's like to be centered in three mirrors arranged in a triangle. They then explain how they think a kaleidoscope works. This is followed by the exhibit Touch the Spring. Students try to touch a spring, describe what happens, then they try to explain their observation. This is followed by the Shadow Kaleidoscopes exhibit. Students set the mirror at 45 degrees and describe how many spots they see within the reflections. This is repeated with the mirror at 60 degrees. Students describe why they think there's a difference in the number of spots between observations. The last exhibit in our circuit is called the Anti-Gravity Mirror. This exhibit is best experienced in groups of two or more. Students first sketch their friend posing without the use of a mirror, then using the same pose, but this time in front of the anti-gravity mirror, students will sketch their friend a second time. When designing the science journal, our focus is centered on the learner and encouraging science literacy. This is why the journal facilitates multiple entry points to the science content, including interaction, reading, writing, reflecting on discoveries, and documenting their experience. These practices are integral to the scientific process and with encouragement from adults and peers could create lifelong curiosity. Each exhibition section in the journal is followed by a list of key words related to the exhibition and there are also follow-up activities for the classroom and home. And remember to remind your students to use the Visit NYSCI for free Target Science Family Pass. Good for general admission for up to two adults and three children. It is located in the last page of the journal. Thank you for participating in the Targeting Science Reading, Writing, and Inquiry program.